Hey guys, in this video, we'd like to take a look at get by test ID uh, function from React Testing Library and its use case and what, what we can use it for. All right. So, to start off, let's have a simple test. So, we have a test. So, testing uh, component using test by ID and we render out our component so render that then let's take let's take a look at what the test by ID is right so test by ID get uh, get by test ID uh, is a function that looks for what a component with an attribute of data uh, dash test ID so we have a com so let's say this link over here has it, this attribute test ID right. so this get by test ID is going to look for any component that has this particular what attribute with the value of whatever that we pass in here so let's say in this case the value should be uh, link so the test id link so we are going to expect that that particular what the components should be in the document so let's not have anything in what let's get rid of the test id and see what happens so we save that and then run our test and as you can see it fails so it fails because there is no component that has the test ID what attribute with the value of what a link. So we can bring that here. So we have a data dash test ID. Let me say this component has what the this is test ID is what a link. And let's see what it output outputs. So it passes right so uh, so obviously that's what the get by test id is it just searches for a component with what that particular value uh, uh, value in it right and the thing here is that this data dash test id attribute can be used for any other component so in this case we have used it for what the link we can get rid of it and then use it for what the paragraph and it will, it will still find that particular uh, that particular what component because it what exists so now why do you uh, ha uh, why do you need to use what the test id so obviously there are some components that uh, you may not have the native access to it like using the get by text or get by row or anything like that right and it's, it's quite difficult to try and go through so many what steps in order to find a particular what thing especially in cases where the component is deeply what nested right so in that case you simply add uh, attach this test id or attribute to that component and there's simply what test based on that so it's an alternative to all the previous what uh, functions at uh, previous test cases that we've what already taken a look at so you can use the test id in place of the title the text the row uh, any other right so it's just an alternative to the other what uh, functions that is already provided to us right but in ideal circumstance it's best to rather use those other what functions like the get by row, the get by title, in order to uh, test the component. Because when you are working in groups or uh, working with other people, they and they use the data, the test ID what attributes, give that same value to another component. It could cause what your test what fail because there are two or more components with that particular what, test ID, and though there is a get all by test id when you've built your what the components you expect that there should be only 
one instance of that particular what, attribute in there and not multiple right so yeah it's good to make use of it but don't use it too often try as much as possible to make use of what the get by rule and other what fun uh, functions in order to what, test your component is very very obvious but it's, uh, it's very uh, it's a great thing to have in mind right okay so that's it for this video and in the next video we are going to take a look at uh, get by display what value right get by display what value all right guys so i'll see you guys in the next video thanks